Welcome to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next is the Austin Martin DBS. This is a 124th scale Tamiya kit. Comes with photo etch. Let's give it a look. Look at the box art on the side. Of course, this is the Bond made this car famous, of course, in the movie. Titanium silver here on the, with the box art. Same art on this side. And looks like this one actually comes with an engine. So, highly detailed kit. 510 horsepower motor. Let's open her up. Open it up right away. You see jam packed full of parts. Some black plastic, clear parts, some gray parts for the engine. Chrome. Rubber tires, low profile tires. So let's get a closer look at these parts. Uh, front bumper, mirrors, and some sus suspension components. Um, And lots of details here. Okay, very detailed kit. Very nice so far. The next bag contained gray parts. So this is uh, happens to be the interior components and looks like the brake calipers. Um, looking closely at the interior bucket. Okay. There are some ejector pin marks in here, but I believe they'll be covered by the by the seats. And then close-up detail of the brake calipers. Back side of the steering wheel. Let me turn it over. Looks like we got a lot of lot of detail to look at on just on the other side. Uh, the door panels on the side. The gear shifter. Some more interior parts. The seats. And the dash. Dash assembly, very cool. Details of the radio, knobs. Right, clutch, gas, and brake pedal. Very good. 
Let's look at the steering wheel a little closer. There you go. There's the gray components. The next bag contains some more gray, gray parts and uh, this is, includes the muffler, exhaust system, and top part of the engine. Now this is considered still a, I would call it a uh, curbside model because you don't get the complete engine. You still just to get the top portions of the engine. Um, okay, some good detail on the, the transaxle, transmission. Really nothing more on the other side there. But okay. Next up are the black parts found in a single bag and this is uh, the bottom of the car along with some suspension components, uh, the wheel wells and so forth. And this is actually black plastic, not not the charcoal metallic gray that the car uh, was molded in but uh, we'll get a closer look of the underneath the car itself there's some uh, exhaust lines representing the bottom of the engine you know that's why um, they don't give you the complete engine because you know you're not really going to see it and then of course here's the top half of the engine right here representative of the gas of the valve covers actually attached to the top portions of the wheel wells the lower volants for the front of the car for the fog lights and just some work suspension components looks like part of the oil pan and the headlight headlight buckets which are black very cool next up is the chrome parts which includes the wheels, grill and all the other accessories that would be chrome on the model uh, they do give you some very nice eight spoke chrome wheels um, these can be calm down a little bit with some uh, flat clear painted over the top of them. Very cool. Look at the, 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 the grill itself. Very detailed. Very fine. Very nice. Okay. Headlights. Chrome portions for the LED headlights. So, very nice. Looks like the exhaust tips right there. Alright, let's look at the clear parts. Okay, here's the clear parts. Uh, very fine, clear pieces. Uh, the windshield itself, with the side windows all in one piece. The back window with the heating elements built into it, your tail lights already detailed out, headlights very thin, clear, and of course some of your turn signals too. Now I haven't quite figured out what these are, but we'll look at the kit instructions to see what these are themselves. Of course, uh, low profile tires. Uh, there's no markings on them. Uh, very nice tread pattern. I'm not going to take them out of the bag. It looks almost like they would be a, a Michelin type of tire. Of course, some plastic inserts for the wheels themselves, some screws for assembly. And next is the some decals. They do give some really cool chrome peel-off decals.
for the markings of the car license plate and mirrors and rear view mirror so it's very very cool uh, they also give you window masks so when you can mask the windshield so you can paint the the trim around the windows and then of course a full set of uh, decals uh, for the instruments license plate and so forth what's really cool too with this set is the the fret of photo etch so they actually give you a name plate for for a stand if you were to put this in a display case and various grill work for the car for the engine very nice Look at the body. The body comes um, in virtually one piece as far as the back end, the back of the lance and, and bumper assembly. Uh, of course the front end is separate. So there's, the bumper is installed separately. If you look closely at the finish of the plastic though, it actually has a metallic, metallic inside of it. So this body could actually be cleaned up and polished up if you didn't, if you didn't want to paint it. If you, so chose to do, to do so, but you can see there's some flaws in, in how the plastic was inje ejected in there, so um, I, I, I probably would paint it. I don't think I would just try to polish this up. Once again, there's another flaw there, and it's probably... Um, don't know why that, that happens to plastic, um, but very, very sharp looking model. And then, of course, here's the hood. same thing and has the same kind of weirdness going on with the plastic but uh, very cool the back side of the hood I don't think there's any details on the inside of this uh, the date does says does say 2010 of course here's the kit instructions in a booklet it comes with a staple type of booklet or actually it's a fold out type booklet um, all the usual what to do and cautions when assembling the kit okay, first you see is all the front brake rotors the engine some suspension components color call outs then the bottom of the suspension they and show you how to how to paint it correctly. Okay, shows the exhaust, how to cut off the exhaust tips and apply those to the exhaust assembly. Oh, it is stapled. Okay. Skid plate on the bottom with the wheels. Door panels. Very detailed instructions on how to paint and apply various grill work, the photo etch to the the dash. Steering wheel with the shifting paddles. You can elect to have the shifting paddles or, or not depending on the version you build. Very cool. Very detailed interior, really. That's why it's important that the clear parts are so clear so you can look inside real well. There's the masks for the windshield, how to apply those so you can paint it. Very nice. How to install the headlights, they go in a certain way, very detailed there, how that's done. Insert the taillights from the, from the inside, very nice. Very impressed with this kit, well engineered. Headlights, how they go together, 
front of the lance. And uh, those clear round pieces that were frosted, uh, they don't show what we'd use them for. So probably just extra stuff, maybe for mounting it on a stand or something. But uh, there you go. There you have it. The Austin Martin DBS by Tamaya. I highly recommend this kit. It does have a lot of parts. I would recommend this for an experienced modeler. And uh, really, I picked it up at a good price and a great value. Thanks for looking at my reviews and happy modeling. Thank you.